Coach Kirsten Bergdahl Booth, number 12, Taryn Cloth, and number 5, Jaylee Winters. We'll start with a statement from Coach Booth, and we'll take questions from anyone. Well, uh, first of all, congratulations to Nebraska on uh, a great win. I think um, what an awesome night of volleyball uh, to have the largest crowd in NCAA history is pretty amazing and a five set thriller that obviously we're disappointed on how things finish, but um, really, you know, uh, you know, what incredible fans uh, we have in this state. And I think that they came and enjoyed uh, great volleyball, especially for early in the season when both teams are trying to work out a lot of kinks. And uh, I mean, I guess I just want to say thank you to the fans for coming out uh, this evening. And um, as far as play, you know, I thought it was the tale of uh, the serve and pass game. You know, I thought we won it in game one and two, and we lost it in three, four, and five. And I think, you know, you can, you know, you can talk about Fecky, you can talk about, you know, those sort of things. But really, I thought the serve and pass game was was the difference. Questions for anyone? Coach, in your mind, how did Nebraska switch the serve and pass uh, game after all out of the locker room? Well, I think they just stayed aggressive. You know, we knew Nebraska was a great serving team. They've really, <coughs> I think that's been a priority the last few years for them. Um, and it, you know, I think fatigue uh, wore us down. Coach, you guys were hitting oh, well over 300 at the intermission. Was there anything in those first two sets that could have given you an indication that the match could flip like that? No, I mean, other than the fact that I, you know, I know Nebraska is a great team and, you know, I think you play great teams and I mean, we always say the best and worst thing about volleyball is you go back to zero. So, you know, coming out of intermission, um, you know, we knew that they were going to come firing in all cylinders. And I think, uh, you know, what we hang our hat on a lot of tempo. And as soon as you, you know, they disrupted us and they took us out of our tempo and, you know, it's going to lead to success. Working for you really, it seems like you got into a really good rhythm and almost, you know, were hard to stop at some point. What were you feeling out there? What were you? How was the connection between you and Madeline? And uh, just like Coach said, we like to run a lot with a lot of tempo. So our passing, our passers were passing dimes the first two sets. They were absolutely perfect. So um, just getting in system really helped a lot, I think. And then Madeline distributed the ball well. Jay, what, what do you think they did to disrupt your tempo? Um, we just didn't pass well. I think we took um, the foot off the pedal a little bit in that third set and got a little tentative. Um, and they stayed aggressive, and that was the name of the game. Um, we needed to be able to put three good sets together. We were able to put two together tonight, and we just need to get that last one. They seem to have the momentum for a lot of the final three. I guess what was the mood like for you guys trying to sort of get it back on your – I guess what would you saying to each other to try to yeah. get that control of it? Um, it was positive on our on our side of the court the whole time. Um, we were talking a lot about grit and just playing with heart and believing in ourselves. And um, really, it just came down to execution. But mentally, we were all there. Emotionally, everyone was um, keeping their eyes up and really locked in. Coach, these two seem to hit a wide variety of shots out there tonight. Are they more mature attackers now than maybe when they were freshmen? I hope so. <laughs> We've done our job if they're not. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, these two are pretty special players and, you know, I give props to Angie Barons for that. She spends the most time on shot work with these guys and, um, you know, it's, it's fun to be able to put a scattering report together and say, this is the area we want to hit and, and they can do it. A lot of times you set, tell a player where to hit and, you know, execution can be a challenge, but yeah, they have the full arsenal of shots. It kills it well. Yeah, it's yeah. a problem. Um, <laughs> how, how, she's how a stud. I mean, I think, you know, you know, she and Taryn stats tonight are almost identical, you know, and um, Fecky, you know, we knew the ball was going to her and we still had trouble stopping her. So, you know, we, we tried to put all hands on deck to, to try to slow her down and, you know, kudos to her. She's one of the best outsides in the country. To, to both players, I guess. I know both of you have the advantage of having the short-term memories that kind of help you reset. But if you can't remember anything about that first match as freshman in 2015 to, to now, what, is it, what does it feel like playing this team in front of this crowd um, just in terms of what you guys have learned in your development and what it's going to take to maybe get over that hump if you do face them again this year? 
Um, I definitely love this atmosphere. I thought it was amazing. We had so many people, and they were just here cheering for great volleyball, and I think that's what we saw tonight, a great five-set thriller. Um, Everyone got their money's worth, but um, yeah, I just love the energy that this place has and how much the state of Nebraska loves and supports volleyball I think is really special. Um, Again, we just had to move on, flip the page. Um, Now from freshman year, it feels a lot more just like another game. So, I don't know, I probably had a lot of jitters freshman year, but this really was just another match, and we were locked in. We're getting old. Yeah. (laughs) What what did you notice from your team just in the build-up for it? Because, obviously, from the outside, there's a lot of excitement. I don't know, did you feel like you had to talk to some of the younger players about staying even keel, or how do you think they handled the, I guess, extracurriculars, the hype of it all? I think we just kind of had to show that we were calm, and then our calmness had to... Uh, spread to the other players but I think everybody handled themselves really well and we weren't trying to focus on everything around us we were trying to focus on what is in the court. Thanks coach what do you notice about Jayla Zimmerman I know um, just in talking to you and your assistants about what type of player you thought you were getting when you recruited her um, for her to have a match like she had tonight as a freshman um, you know kind of reminds you to one of the you know the kids sitting here your left. What, what, what is it about her that you thought helped her thrive tonight and you think maybe is maybe a strength of her going forward? Well, it was good to see uh, Jayla have a great night in front of an atmosphere. You never know how a freshman's going to respond, and um, this is her best career match. I think okay. not only statistically, but I think passing the eye test of things that she did. So, you know, Jayla's a great player. Um, I think she's going to continue to improve. Um, you know, and I, you're not seeing it because she's not playing back row by, right now, but she's an incredible back row player too. So. You know, and I, I could speak this way about all of our freshmen. You know, I'm stoked about all of them. Uh, I think that, you know, they, they you know, these are, these are huge shoes to fill to my left. But, you know, I, I feel optimistic that they're going to at least fill part of them pretty well. <laughs> Coach, you, it's just one match, I know. But you had to beat Nebraska before and you're up 2-0. How do you keep this from lingering? You know, well, I think I, I told the team, I um, win or lose, uh, tomorrow night's match is really, really difficult. Uh, you know, we have Iowa State, and it's going to take leadership. And I said it, this is stings harder for our seniors um, than it probably does for the younger kids. And this is the time that they have to show leadership. And, you know, fortunately, I think on paper, this is a loss to a really great team. And, you know, losing to a great team doesn't hurt our resume. I think on an emotional level, it's a big bummer, right, for all the reasons you just said. Um, But that's what leadership is. That's what resiliency is. You know, so how we respond um, and and how our leadership leads is going to be really critical. It's It's a big challenge. And I think they have to emulate, and I know they will. conversations start for for you guys who are obviously disappointed in the opportunity that you, you missed tonight I guess but in terms of flipping the page as quickly as you have to for another really good team you get exactly 15 minutes to be angry or happy after a game according to coach <laughs> so when that time's up you got to move on there are so many games in a season we do just have to move on obviously it hurts no one likes to lose but we're all competitive and we want to win the next game Ditto. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.